Hello everybody, welcome to my video. Today I want to talk about Man's Planet, which is a fictional frozen planet featured in the film Interstellar, directed by Christopher Nolan. It is one of the potentially habitable planets in a distant galaxy that the crew of Endurance is searching for in order to save humanity. It takes its name from the first astronaut to land there named Dr. Man. Similar to Miller's planet, this world also orbits the black hole Gargantua. Here are all of the details about Man's Planet. Number 1. No Time Dilation even though man's planet orbits the black hole Gargantua, its orbital distance is far from the singularity. Therefore, the planet does not experience significant time dilation compared to Miller's planet, which has an extremely close orbital distance to the black hole. This is evident in the fact that Dr. Man survived on his planet for 30 plus years, while Dr. Laura Mirror died within just the last few hours in relative time slippage. Next, let's talk about the frozen landscape. Man's planet is a frozen world, covered in a layer of ice and snow. The planet is so frigid that even its clouds are frozen, which gives the unusual view of vertical mountains or floating mountains. There is no visible or discovered surface on this planet, and the Ranger spacecraft actually lands on the seemingly endless layers of frozen ice cloud crevices and mountains. Below the frozen clouds is an endless expand of darkness filled with gases. There is no surface. The mountains are covered in snow and ice, making them treacherous to traverse, with no visible vegetation or animal life. There is water to be found on the frozen clouds, but unfortunately has too much alkaline in it. The planet is described by Dr. Man as a cold, stark, but undeniably beautiful world. The days are 67 hours long, cold, and the nights are 67 hours that are far colder. The term one day is determined by the time a planet takes to rotate once on its axis and includes both daytime and nighttime. Meaning that one day on man's planet is a total of 134 hours compared to Earth's 24 hours. That means that man's planet rotates on its axis much slower than Earth does, approximately one-fifth slower than Earth. The gravity is a pleasant 80% or 0.8 gravity compared to Earth. The lower gravity is due to the planet's lower mass. That means you would weigh 20% less on man's world. That makes it much easier to move around, lift heavier objects, and jump like Air Jordan. Since everybody weighs 20% less on man's planet, this is partly why we see Cooper and man using pneumatic systems to propel themselves around the very rough terrain of frozen clouds. Next is atmosphere. The air is filled with ammonia, which is why we see the endurance crew members wearing breathable apparatus while outside the man-made compound. No pun intended. We see Cooper almost dying from the ammonia when Dr. Man cracks Cooper's helmet. Little light penetrates the atmosphere, making the sky always appear gray. At one point in the movie, Cooper mentions a neutron star near Miller's planet, so the light we see on man's planet could actually be coming from that neutron star. However, the light could also be coming from the black hole Gargantua. This is because the black hole has an accretion disk filled with dust and gases that reach the temperature of our sun. This gives off heat and light to its nearby planets, including man's planet. Furthermore, the planet experiences temporary bad weather such as snowfall and high winds. However, these are light weather patterns, average squalls that normally blow over. Overall, man's planet is a harsh and uninhabitable world that is a stark contrast to the original hope that it held for humanity. Its role in the film highlights the dangers and uncertainties of space exploration and underscores the importance of honesty and integrity in science research. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.